Behind their feisty charm lies an amazing character. These cheeky birds have to bring up their chicks against the most extraordinary odds. Spy cams discover just how special they really are. From the freezing Antarctic to the scorching tropics. This is the story of nature's most devoted parents, filmed as never before. Throughout the long, dark days of the Antarctic winter, Emperor penguins have endured the harshest weather on the planet. But not all the penguins here are quite as they seem. Emperor Cam. It is one of 50 spy cameras being used to film three different types of penguin. It has a camera in its body, as well as its eye. It is about to witness a momentous event. His egg has started to hatch. The father cared for this bundle of life for two whole months while his partner was out at sea. He hasn't fled. His only concern has been the egg's survival. Chick sees her father for the first time. A moment that will create a bond between them. Her dad proudly shoes off his new baby to another father whose egg is still to hatch. encourage her unhatched neighbour to emerge as well. In this way, the colony's young all arrive together. The new chick joins over 2,000 others that are starting to appear throughout the colony. The new fathers have no time to celebrate. Their babies are hungry. Supplies won't last long. The chick's survival depends on her mother's return. In the Falklands, rockhopper penguins are also under surveillance. Rockhopper cam not only has a camera in its eye, it can walk to find the best location. It picks a prime spot to film the new chicks that are arriving all over the colony. Egg cams capture an even closer view. Here too, Dad's looking after the new baby, but he has it easy. His shift only lasts two weeks. He's on duty 24-7, and he must be prepared for anything. Even an invasion. Rockhopper Cam spots the first arrival. They are keen cormorants, and they're moving in. unruly neighbours, and they're a hazard to the chicks. They 
there's still any wasting material that can form. The lock hoppers protect their chips as their own nests vanish before their eyes. The cormorants also squabble among themselves. In a brawl, his chick becomes separated. And a cormorant runs right over him. His father hasn't noticed. He's still attacking the nest robber. Then, as the chaos subsides, he realizes his chick has disappeared. He looks in desperation. Then he hears his chick's call. He's badly shaken, but alive. It's nothing some fatherly comfort can't heal. The penguins' new rowdy neighbors make themselves at home. It's just one of the many trials the new chicks now face. In Peru, our third penguin, the Humboldt, returns to its desert nest. They are the only mainland penguin to survive in the tropics. They have their own dedicated spy camera, Humboldt Cam. They rear their two chicks in burrows to protect them from the baking sun and predators. The parents share chick rearing duties between them. The male took the night shift, hunting fish and squid just offshore. As they rarely have to travel far compared with the two other penguins, these lifelong couples spend a lot more time together. But at home, it's hard to get any peace. Inca terns like these burrows too, especially those with a sea view. Like lockhoppers, the Humboldts dislike having neighbours too near. But the terns aren't easily discouraged. Being a penguin parent is a full-time job. Humboldt Cam will stay on watch. The penguins will soon face far greater threats than a few terns. In Antarctica, more specialist spy cams keep a close view on the emperor penguins. Egg cams are everywhere. Robot Emperor cams, positioned in the colony, give yet another view of their subject. To coincide with the chick's arrival, there's a new kid on the block. Chick cam. Its role is to capture a chick's viewpoint as the young develop and grow. For now, the dads are still in charge. Their chicks are hungry, but the fathers are running low on food stores. They 
kids to lunch with you guys left. But these were his emergency rations. His chick calls for more. But there is nothing left. The mothers are running late. At this time of year, the sea they must cross can freeze for 50 miles. The chick's future depends on his mother arriving back in time. At the Rockhopper colony, the chicks face a more imminent danger. Turkey vultures. These scavengers are quite prepared to attack live chicks if they can. The penguins use their body as a shield, protecting their chicks. The vulture can't penetrate the centre of the colony, so he tries his luck along the borders. But rock hoppers are pugnacious birds. He even leaves his nest to drive the threat away. It's a brave but risky move. Another vulture sneaks in and grabs his chip. The colony can't protect itself without risking more lives. But reinforcements arrive. The females, back from fishing. Their masked lines are an intimidating sight. The vulture tries to eat what he can, but the penguin army has other ideas. While the vultures fight among themselves, the penguins pull back. When the squabbling's over, they press home their attack. The vultures retreat, and the victors return to their partner. A well-earned celebration. The mother hasn't seen her chick before, but she takes over responsibilities immediately. Her first job is to give the chick a fresh fish meal. At the Emperor colony, the dads are still waiting. With no food left, Eating snow eases hunger and thirst. But if their partners don't arrive soon, the males will have to abandon their precious chicks and return to the sea. trekked across a frozen ocean to arrive back in the nick of time. The chick has never seen her mother. She could be any one of the new arrivals. The mother is equally keen to see her new chick, but she must first find her mate among more than 3,000 males. She rushes into the crowd. Nothing stands in her way. But there's a problem. She 
she's now stuck in the middle, and no closer to finding her mate. But the males have a solution. They peel away and form an orderly line. Their chicks are safely tucked in the brood pouch between their legs. To help their partners, they have formed an identity parade. The female inspects them, one by one. She finally catches sight of her maid. And calls to check it's really him. Her partner takes himself out of the room. Once more, she views her chick for the first time. It should be her turn to look after the baby, but her partner's not so sure. He may not have eaten for three months, but the bond with his chick is stronger than hunger. He finally accepts the inevitable. But transferring the chick needs perfect coordination. Things could hardly have gone better. It's time for the father to leave for the ocean. But he's in no hurry. makes his decision then his second thought he endured the Antarctic winter all for the sake of this check saying goodbye isn't easy this time there's no turning back Mother rewards her chick with her first solid meal. Lumps of fish, so fresh they appear as if they were caught yesterday. Food is preserved for up to three months by unique antibiotics in the penguin's stomach. The male joins a leaving party. They won't return from the sea for around four weeks. In Peru, when Humboldt penguins go fishing, they are almost unrecognizable. They are plastered with muck from their bones. The desert sun will soon cake the dirt into their plumage and they must take a bath to survive. Unfortunately, it means leaving their chicks alone. Predators have waited for this moment. Belcher gulls, common killers of young chicks. The chicks may seem defenseless, but they have a few surprises in store. Their final deterrent is truly repulsive. Gulls can't risk clogging their feathers. It seeks a more wholesome meal. At the Rockhopper Colony, it's time for a change of shifts. The Rockhopper fathers have been relieved of parenting duties. It's now their turn to go fishing. They 
have a hundred meters left to get down. You must take the knocks on the chin. At the bottom, Mock Cam prepares to film their departure. Mock Cam is here to observe, but some rules are made to be broken. for two weeks. They will soon be back in their element. emperors have yet to reach the sea. But sometimes luck can go their way. A seal hole in the ice. It's a shortcut. A portal to the ocean below. fish along the edge of the ice sheet. They're back in their natural home. Before the Humboldts can take their bath, they must cross a dangerous barrier. Sea lions block their route to the sea. Descending the cliff is the easy bit. Sure, they must walk on tiptoe to avoid disturbing the sleeping giants. Sea lions are deadly predators in the sea, but they're lazy and sleepy on land. It should be just a matter of not waking them up. First finds a safe route. The rest sneak up behind. They squeeze between the mass of slumbering blubber and the box. They're spotted. But they escape just in time. The penguins make a last dash to the sea. They 
need their bath, their plumage must be in perfect condition for fishing. A new humbled can arrives. It's a robotic submersible with a camera in its eye. The shy penguins are relaxed in its presence and they can be found underwater for the first time. The sea around is overflowing with fish. The shoals thrive on the nutrients brought here by the humbled current. This cold upwelling allows these penguins to survive so close to the equator. But the fish shoals attract more than just penguins. A far seal surfaces near Humboldt Camp. Unlike sea lions, they rarely kill penguins, but they do love chasing them for fun. the emperors, the females are now firmly in charge. Their first big challenge arrives, an Antarctic blizzard. The penguins protect their chicks by turning their backs to the wind. But soon, it's not enough. Chicks are still exposed to the swirling wind. To survive the worsening weather, they must huddle closer together. They start to gather in even greater numbers. Huge mass of penguins can share warmth and shelter. But the crush means it's a risky place for a young chick to be. At first, penguins with chicks circulate on the outside, avoiding the pressure within. As the weather worsens, they'll all have to look for a place to tuck in. Eventually, a huge huddle forms. While those in the center are warm and protected, those on the outside are still struggling. To share the heat around, the penguins take tiny steps to change position. Waves of movement ripple through the huddle, giving everyone a chance to have a go in the center. The puzzle is so efficient, penguins in the inner core can even overheat. As these penguins try to cool down, the colony starts to break up. The collapse acts as a release valve, shedding excess heat. but it's dangerous for the chick. As everyone moves position, some mothers topple in the crush. She 
tries to stop her full weight falling on her cheek. Getting back up is especially difficult with the chick nestled in her pouch. Her Kia finally pays off. She and her chick rejoin the huddle as it starts to reform. Not all have been so lucky. This penguin has been searching for her lost chick. it might still be alive. Her pouch is the only lifesaver she knows. A female companion shows her concern. invested everything into her chip. To lose it is a tragedy. She will have to wait another year. Chicks face other risks. They are hungry. On the shore below, their mother returns from her fishing trip. She has plenty of food, but getting back to her chicks won't be easy. The sea lions have woken up. Alone, she's an easy target. A booby bird has already paid the price. After a good sleep, the sea lions are ready for a meal. They even clamber the rocks that sometimes offer escape. Using the enemy as stepping stones is never going to work. She freezes trapped by several tons of immovable blubber. She finds a gap that doesn't get far. She keeps them at bay by pecking their noses, but she can't reach her chicks while the sea lions are so active. She must play a waiting game, but her chicks are hungry and alone. In the Antarctic, the chicks can no longer squeeze into their mother's pouch. Walking on mum's feet exercises the chick's legs before she takes steps of her own. Some have yet to get the hang of it.
even the experts can end up in trouble. The chick's fluffy down and her mother's pouch help cushion the blows. She's become familiar with every kind of snow, but she has yet to step foot on any of it herself. This is about to change. Her first baby step. She stands on her own two feet for the first time. Like any toddler, she's a bit unsteady. But mum offers tough love. The ice is covered by tiny chicks, all trying out their new legs. For the mums, it can all get a bit confusing. As the chicks gain confidence, they start to hesitantly follow their leaders. struggles to regain her composure. At this size, every lump of snow is like a boulder. Separated from her mother, the colony is a reassuring sight. Back on the flat, her confidence returns. She heads for the security of the huddle. lost in the crowds, and out of sight of her mother. Her mother calls. But her chick is lost in a penguin maze. She starts to realize the danger she's in. She won't survive alone for long. In Peru, the spy cameras are now operating using low light technology. The humble the chicks are long overdue a feed. Their mother is still trapped on the beach with the sea lions. But she has gained an advantage. She often hunts at night, so her night vision is better than the sea lions. This gives her confidence. <laughs> Her ground, but sea lions are the only danger here. Vampire bat. 
She tries to sneak away, but the sea lions block her path. The vampires skip along them, looking for a meal. Sea lions make a larger target and are easier to sneak up on. But he feels the bat's razor incision. It must find a less suspecting victim. The bat's saliva encourages the blood to flow. She's soon lapping it up. With the sea lions distracted by the vampires, the penguin creeps back to her nest. Her hungry chicks finally get the meal they were waiting for. Arctic. The weather is on the turn again. And the chick is still lost. If her mother doesn't find her soon, she'll perish. She calls. But the deepening sorrow deadens the sound. She's protected by down, but it's not enough. She's beginning to struggle against the cold. Falklands, Mockhopper Can waits for the males to return from their fishing trip. In the two weeks they've been away, they may have travelled over a thousand miles in their quest for food. They arrive in small landing parties, but numbers build as they come ashore. Rock Hopper Cam watches as they start the long ascent to their partners and chicks. Popular routes form bottlenecks. It's so easy to be in the wrong place. But Rock Hopper Cam always picks itself back up again. Their partners may be waiting, but once over the first hurdle, the males have other ideas. They go to the spa. This natural shower washes off the sea salt that penetrates their feathers. It 
also quenches their thirst. The shower is in high demand. Disputes break out over whose turn it is to have a go. No one can breathe in peace for more than a few moments. One smart penguin has an idea. He deploys a mountaineering technique known as a chimney climb. And at the top, all any penguin requires is his own private power shower. He's enjoying himself so much, he's in no rush to get back to his partner. While he's away, the female hasn't left her chick's side for a single moment. Gulls watch for any lapse of concentration. They snatch a chick the moment her back is turned. Skewers add to the mounting tool. And soon, some pairs are left without any chicks at all. Bereaved couples are desperate. They look for another chick to care for. And they don't mind if it's someone else's. They plan a kidnap. The mother's defense is to sit tight and stop her chick being stolen. Kidnappers won't be put off easily. Just in time, her partner returns, spruced up from the shower. He takes on the would-be kidnappers. The fight gets even more heated, but there are few tougher than a rock hopper. They can take the punishment as well as dish it out. The baby snatchers have had enough, and the male returns to his mate. He won't need another shower, but at least his chick is safe. Kidnapping is also rife in the Emperor colony. The newly walking chicks are irresistible to females that have lost their own chicks or failed to breed. The mother tries to repel the kidnappers with a few well-aimed pecks, but they won't give up. And others have the same idea. Chick heads for the main colony, hoping to find protection among the crowds. She disappears in a mass of bodies and reappears alone. But it's only for a moment. A large crowd has gathered, all trying to adopt the chick. 
seemed overwhelmed by Dalton and Mars. Wild Child Snatcher tries to force the chick into her pouch, but she's way too big. She makes a break for it, then gives them the runaround through the colony. Finally, he has her surrounded. They're all desperate to move on. She's in danger of being smothered with love. But the fluff ball is accidentally flipped away and caught by her mother. Stay closer to her next time. At the Rockhopper Colony, yet more predators are gathering. A striated Caracara, another chick hunter. As ever, the lock hoppers leap to the colony's defense. The Caracara finds what he thinks is an easy meal. With all the blue legs hatched, egg cam is an irresistible temptation. It not only looks like a real egg, it rolls like one too. With Egg Cam finally in his claws, he does what comes naturally. Takes it into the air. A quick readjustment, and Egg Cam captures the first aerial of a penguin colony shot by a flying bird. But then Egg Cam slips from his grasp. Immediately, it catches the eye of a turkey vulture. The game continues with different players. Finally, Egg Cam is back in the Rockhopper Colony. This childless couple can hardly believe their luck. Egg Cam is a gift from the skies. She tenderly takes it into her nest. For a few moments, she even tries to incubate it, but she won't be fooled for long. Back in Peru, the rest of the fishing party has finally arrived. While they've been away, the nesting colony has undergone an invasion far greater than anything the rock hoppers have faced. Their number 
stars have to be seen to be believed. There are half a million birds in all. One eye cormorant. Global weather has pushed the birds southwards and they gathered in far greater numbers than normal. For the returning males, it's utterly bewildering. For the females and their young, it's a disaster. nest outside the colony, but the penguins and their chicks are just where these invaders prefer to take off. Their chicks could easily be trampled if the colonists overshoot the runway. The young take cover as the invaders move ever closer, pushed forward by the others eager to take off. And that was just the start. Thousands upon thousands are stacked up behind. The Humboldts just have to hold their ground and protect their chicks the best they can. She shields her offspring. She has never experienced anything like it. tries to snatch the cormorants from the air. As the cormorants stream out to sea, the pressure is released. It takes a whole hour for them to leave. With most of the cormorants gone, the males can finally return to their young. The family is reunited. And Dad has brought back dinner. At the Emperor Colony, the freezing winter has kept other predators at bay, but spring brings new dangers. A giant petrel suddenly arrives looking for a meal. He weighs up his options. Chicks protected by their mother are difficult to catch. Mama's pouch is now of little use. He just hides the danger from view. But it's the mother that keeps the petrol at bay. While some rely on their mother for protection, others huddle together. He tests the group's reaction to see if any will run. By breaking up the huddle, he can isolate a victim. He gets one. She only has it by her feathers. She breaks free and runs to her mother.
petrels are huge birds, but they still won't mess with an adult emperor. Protected by her mother, the chick survived another day. But soon, the parents will leave, and these chicks have to stand on their own two feet. Next time, from the frozen Antarctic to the scorching desert, we discover the challenges faced by all our chicks as they learn to become adult penguins. With more funny clips found on the internet, World's Craziest Fools is over on BBC Three now. While on BBC Four, Storyville investigates online publishing with Google and the world's brain. Thank you.